Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft with Steve Galaxies Online. So, um, there was a, f a fault, as you you could probably see it within the last little thing that we just built, the coal thing. I'll show you what it is in a second. I just need to find... Where I put my food. Um. So yeah. So I'll show you what the issue was. So this bit's all set up, so that basically dumps all the sticks, as you can see there's quite a lot in there. So basically what was happening is you can see we've added one here. Because this was filling up with just coal, this thing had loads of sticks in it. So I basically put another filter underneath so it can just filter the sticks straight into here so yes and I put a turret over there because um, something actually spawned in the cart well it didn't spawn in the cart, it spawned on this brick th surface and it fell into the cart and it kept hitting me when I was nearby so I put a turret over here so that can shoot that area Right. So I think the previous episode that we just recorded, we were fixing all the blocks and stuff. So I've got a whole lot of iron, aluminium, and gold, and what have you. Because I'm going to just drain all them, them out and just use them when we need them. Because otherwise it's just filling up the like, ender resonant. And actually... Of course, it's going to give us the Ren Ender IO, IO stuff. Um, how about if I just do uh, Resonator? Because, um, go. Um, so I think it, pretty much any of them. You can see we've got resonant ender. So nint. Was it resonant ender? So what do you do with that? Right. So you can turn that, right, turn that into Enderium Nuggets, or an Enderium Ingot. You can use it to make... Just do that out of the way, so as I can see. Redstone Energy Cell. To make Resident Energy Cell. Okay. Or use it to make resident. Okay, so we can make it to use an energy flux. If we put an induction smelter, we get endarium armor plating, which we can use for a jetpack. Okay. Okay, so you can make the jetpacks out of that stuff. Okay. Make it in a satchel. Resonant portal tank. A strong box. Cache. Turn it into a gear. A thruster. Energy cell frame. T 
Tesseract frame. So we do have a lot of stuff we can actually do with the resonant, which is good because we have a lot of it. <laughs> like a lot. I mean, I think we've actually almost got a whole block full of it here. Does it actually turn into a block? Yes, it does. Solid ender. Right, I'll keep that on me. I think one of these has got a lot of it in it. So that's got another 2000. I think it's this one. No? It's got a lot in it though. It's got 1600. 1006. So there's probably a couple of blocks worth of end there. And here. I think the iron has the most maybe. Yeah. Let's get blood as well. We've got a lot of copper in there. So if I put that in here, no? Hmm. How do you cut it down into brick? I don't know. <laughs> I've got two of them now. <laughs> okay. Hmm. And uh, so that can go into oh machine f frames that gives you like more advanced machines, which is good. Redstone furnace. Okay. Oh. Uh. How do you put it down here? So I can turn it to fake aids, but I don't really know what to do with that. For beacon bases. I forgot all about beacons, to be honest. <laughs> I know they're really good to have if, if you max them out. Like you can get regen health and stuff, which is pretty sweet. Oh, you can turn that in there. Block. No, but that's Indian block though. We've got solid Indian, it's a different thing. So we better just using them in here. It's not actually letting me. Hmm. Interesting. That's the end of that one. Hmm. We'll get that blood out of there. <laughs> Show us the blood. Blood doesn't come out. Okay. I don't think that mixes with it anyway. It's just going to fill up the event it is all.
So I know we've got coal, which we can use it for a whole load of stuff. I know you can compress it and turn it into diamond. You can turn, make it a blowtorch. You can turn it to graphing bar, which we've got lots of but on the graphing bar. That's just a burnable. Macerator, compressed carbon, cool. Right, cool dust can get turned into particle customizer. Alright, so that's how you make Perothium dust. A blaze powder. A powder. We can use it as a solar panel. Interesting. With a bucket of water, we can make hydrated coal. Electrical steel, dark steel, carbon, we can liquefy coal, what would be the purpose of liquefied coal? Sagma Can you give you diamond potential? Oh, so that was the end of that one, okay. Um Turn it into steel, I think that is. Compare steel with iron. Which would actually be a good thing. What about... So how do you make compressed coal? Because I, kn I know you can make diamonds out of it. Comp 
cool chunk. So we get cool chunk from compressed cool balls and obsidian. How do you make compressed cool ball? A cool ball through a compressor. Coal powder or pulverized coal so we can just turn it into dust basically. We need flint though. So put gravel for a macerator. Or enrich gunpowder. Purification. Pulverize it. But it gives us sand. If we put it for a sagma, we'll get two by the looks of it. Silicon dioxide, green we will be able to just macerate now, probably. Hmm. Just try to think the best way you actually be able to make it. So if we crush it, we can turn it into gunpowder. Combine it with cobblestone to make gravel. Hmm. The problem with all this stuff, though, is it requires automating. Um. What do you call it? Cobblestone and stuff. Which is a bit tricky. Because I don't know if it's possible. I mean, we put that in an enrichment chamber or I put the cobblestone through a crusher. Hmm. I'm tempted to use a sag mill because that gives you both sand and gravel and then you can put the sand through the another one which then gives you more gravel or you can put sandstone through a sag mill actually Hmm. Just try to think. What's the best way to do this? Can we actually automate this? Is the question. So you can see we've put it through that. It gives us sand. Well, hold on. Right. Put gravel through. That gives you sand, right? So apparently, let me go back. And then put the sand back through. I must have misread it. Yeah. I think. No. Gravel, right?
I, I must have been thinking of something else though. So. Mm. I would say get a sag mole because you get two uh, two flint out of it and sand. Right. I think I'm not to make the sag mole though. What do we need? We need three flint, two iron, a piston, and a machine chassis. Wait, what have I done here? So we need gold nuggets, copper, and sands. There's your iron. <laughs> um, so we need, was it iron? I think. Yeah, and then see flint along the top, which I'm assuming. Oh, well, we've got quite a lot of gravel actually. But it's not it's not gonna be enough to actually automate anything. Then a piston. God I can't remember how to make a piston. Might be one in here. Stone iron. I don't even know if I've got any cobble. Because <laughs> I think we may have used it all. Oh, look okay, at some. Cobble Piston bits. <laughs> um so we need Cobble. And then planks along the top. Iron in the middle and redstone. So there's the pistons, which goes there, and we need. A machine casing. Oh, not not a sh chassis. 
that thing. Which requires iron bars and iron. I can't remember how to make actual iron bar. <laughs> Okay, I was close. Right, so chassis, chassis, right. I'll make a bunch of them. Capacitor, which is redstone, copper, and gold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this gold away because I've got these ones we can use. I need maybe two sacks. Right, redstone, we've got redstone. And I think that's it. Copper. Is that copper? If it's copper, we've already got like, four bricks here. <laughs> right, that should be enough. Let's get this out of here. Okay, so copper in the middle. Like that, and then that, and that. Capacitor is cool. And then that capacitor goes into there. Five, sweet. Just make me some more. Just in case. See all that stuff was that in there IO. Okay. Right. And then the chassis goes there. Sagma. Although I think we actually need a few of them. We'll see. Do these need power? Pro no, they need the capacitor thing, but I think they require power as well. Right, hold on a minute. I might have. I ah, see that's the same from the same thing. I should have some of the good capacitors still kicking about somewhere. How do you make that one? Vibrant alloy. Uh, yeah, but how do you make it? Hmm. I'm sure I had one sitting about somewhere. Well, the capacitor banks, but not the actual capacitors. That's the way in here. Maybe in here? Aha! I knew I had one somewhere. 
Right, so no, that's coming down the stair. So you basically pop that in there and it gives you more power. Um, oh, we've got aluminium wire. Perfect, because we will be needing that. Did I put that there? Okay, fine, come on. Give me that. So we can pick up the sag belt. Right. Oh, they'll be down. Oh, there's power down here. Cool. <laughs> so we don't actually need to bring power all the way down. Although we will need to bring out item ground if it's down. So say I stick that here. And then pop the thing in there. Probably not a good idea putting it near the end portal. <laughs> Meh. So, if I put that in there, that gives us sand, and then we put it through again, that should give us flint, in theory. It's not all that quick, is it? <laughs> Oh, it does give us gravel. But if you put the sand through again, it gives you gravel. So it must be a lot of percentage. Like maybe every 10 blocks or something. So basically if I pop that back in, it's going to silicon, no, hmm, no because it's, you put gravel through it, and that gives you the flint, not the sand. But it's a good thing though we know how to make silicon. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Right, I've got some thinking to do here, so I will catch you all next time. If you want to join the server, feel free. The link and all of the stuff is in the description below. Yeah. It's an interesting one. We'll try and figure it out and maybe try and automate something from this. I will catch you all next time. Do take care. Goodbye for now.